one of the things that we sometimes have to think about is why is it important to go to Mass? And it's not something that we should look at negatively. I think what is important and why it's so important to go to Mass is that it grounds you in God. It, it grounds your whole life in God. That weekly, um, the weekly commitment on a Sunday to give that time to God and go to Mass actually places your whole life into the context of God's love. And you know, I was thinking a little about this and I often think it's like when you have elderly relatives, when you have perhaps a grandma and a granddad who've been such an influence on your lives and yet they've got kind of old, perhaps they're not going out anymore and they're not able to come to visit you so you've got to be the ones to visit them. You still want to encounter their love in your life but you have to make that effort to go and experience that love. And if time goes by and you're not able to go to see them for whatever reason, slowly but surely, even though you may know they're there in a vague sense, their actual daily influence on your life is going to fade over time. And so making that regular commitment to go and make your, make your duty, if you like, I can even call it a duty, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but to go to Mass, to experience um, your time with God and to be with Him for that one hour a week then affects all of your life, just as your, the love of your grandparents would enter into your life ever more effectively if you're able to see them regularly. Now, if you think about the three major parts of the Mass as well, we'll see how it's possible to understand that this is having a daily influence on your life. So, take the first major part of the Mass, which we know as the Liturgy of the Word, and this is where we hear the Word of God. And the Word of God, of course, which we know is the Bible, also known as Scripture. And the Mass, during the Mass, the first part of that Mass, the major part of the Mass, is we break down that Word of God into a first reading, usually a psalm, a second reading, and then a gospel. And then we also hear the, the priest who gives a homily, which is all part of that first part of the Mass, the liturgy of the Word. And the purpose of that is to help us to gradually be formed by the Word of God. If we're not careful, we don't hear the Word of God often by coming to Mass. We find ourselves for, formed in different ways by the other things that are part of our life, the different distractions that are all around us. And so that regular attendance at Mass, that regular receiving and hearing the Word of God, helps us to be formed into what we're intended and hoped to be as Christians, which are creatures of the Word people who are Christ-like in the way that we act because we've been formed by that Word of God. And of course, it comes to us in a specific context, the Word of God, the context of our lives. These are not just stories about other people. They're stories about us, about humanity in relationship with God. And so there's always meaning, there's always depth for us to understand, learning from our ancestors, learning from those who live their lives aware of God's presence in it. And so that's what we're trying to do too. We're trying to live our lives aware of God's presence in it. And therefore, listening to that word of God on a weekly basis or more often if you can, is so important for our lives as Christians. Here are the questions. 